Hi everyone, it is Comic Savagery here. Um, I've noticed that there are like almost no tutorials on an app called Rough Animator, which is an animation app that I personally really like, and I can barely find any tutorials on it when I need it. So I figured I'll make it easier for newer people by making a tutorial. So we're gonna go over the basics. We're gonna make a new project. Uh, we're just going to keep it untitled. I have the frame rate at 10, but you can get, you know, to any any range you want. So I'm not going to bother titling it. This is a tutorial. Uh, sorry for my audio quality, by the way. I am just recording this on my iPad, so, you know. Right, it's time to get to brush basics. So let's set this to black. Just as a default, this is my pen, you know. Um, it's a bit slow, but, you know, the it's like, it's and smooth. You get some good like line variation in there you they have they have you can add brush shapes i've not tried doing that yet but they have like a softer one which i've not really used i only ever like really use the the hard hard edges so we're just going to stick with that um and here's my favorite part is like okay so say we're, i draw a lot of cats so i'm just going to draw a quick cat that is dying it doesn't know it's dying but no one knows that they're dying really so uh, if say I want to add some markings, I just get this little menu up here, and I can do draws behind, and let's just give some really random markings, not good markings, but look, as you can see, it draws behind, like, the black lines, and if I say I got a different color, draw behind that line as well. Um, yeah, so let's... Um, now let's fill this with a lighter color, so like a red tabby. This is the fill bucket tool, very useful. Um, so you can have it sample this layer, this and above, which I don't have a layer above, so we're just going to say this layer, or samples all layers, which um, I've only played around with a little bit. I just usually like to keep things very simple. And you can do fills in front, fills behind, or fills inside, same like the other one. So we're just going to do fills behind. There we go. Um, so as you can see, there's like no no aliasing or anything. Like, oh, there's some a little bit here. That's fine, because I just, all I need to do for that is um, maybe up the, ex up the expand a bit. Um, and then we're just going to give him some purple eyes. After all, this is a tutorial for a program, not character design. And there we go, there's, we used a brush, and we used the fill bucket. But, let's try to uh, import an image. So we're going to import an image, photos. Let's go to photos, camera roll. Um, I'm just going to bring in this picture of Bugs Bunny. There we go, perfect. Um, and I'm going to just modify layers. I'm going to add an empty layer. Now, say if I want something in front of Bugs Bunny here. Uh, so we're going to import images. Now, you might be wondering, can you import images with transparency? Um, well, yes, of course you can. Why would you bother with anything else? So I imported a like design of Blue Star, um, which is a character from a fantasy series about cats. So, same thing as Looney Tunes, really. Um, so, as you can see, transparency, pretty good quality. I did this in another program, obviously. So, and in case you're wondering, uh, hang on, I do have an example for this. So, we're going to select all. Um, there was something I was curious about, and I tested it, and it worked. So, we're going to go to photos, right back into here. Uh, I have this little, this is a circle that I did in another program because I was wondering if I could do line art in a program and then import it into here to color. Um, so this is transparent except for the lines. And yes is the answer. You can, you can color line art in here. Um, obviously you have a little bit 
of you know, over here, but this is where the like having the brush draw behind really helpful. So yeah, you got this. So now you've you've imported some images, you've you've drawn a bit, we've drawn ugly cats. Um, we've imported memes, all the important stuff. Now it's time to try importing audio. Wrong thing. Um, so import audio. Browse. I have all my stuff saved on Google Drive, so I just go here. Um, let's try this, this meme. We got this meme here. We're going to do that. Okay. Now you can see it's around here. Um, now, the only thing I don't like about Rough Animator is that you need to have, um, I think, I, I guess it's kind of, this, oh, that's loud. It's kind of the same for um, uh, Adobe Animate, if I remember correctly, that you need to, like, actually have, you need to extend the audio yourself. So, I have just a, a layer at the bottom. It's not the background layer. The background layer is the same length as your longest layer. Um... I think yeah. Uh, so I just extend that. Ah no, it's too loud. It's too loud. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna turn this down. Turn this way, way down. You can scrub audio, which is very helpful for lip sync. Um. So, uh, let's go over some basic timeline stuff because this this took a while for me to figure out. So, I am on my. I'm just going to be on the layer down here for showing stuff. Um, so I have a I'm going to draw my character Rad Cat. Uh, got some eyelashes. Not going to go into detail here. Absolute. This is the picture of beauty here. Mm, look at that nice chubby cheeks. Maybe I should be a character designer. Uh, okay. Now say. Uh, so the music comes in, and say I want here, where the character starts singing, and I want to have a new layer here, if I want to have a new frame here. So you go to add drawing over here, and you go to, okay, yeah, you go to add drawing over here, and you can do at, at split at playhead is what I usually do. Um, you can do add after, but then you have... Now, then you just add the frame of the same length after the frame you were on. So I don't usually do that. Um, by the way, it's uh, just so you know, uh, it is two, two, uh, you do, just tap with two fingers to undo, tap with three fingers to re redo. Um, so yeah, so, uh, or, so let's undo that. Um... So what if we want to do, what if we only want to change a little something? Like we want the rest of the head to stay the same, but we're just going to have um, maybe her eye change. So we're going to duplicate split at playhead, which is this gray thing. The gray thing is the, the green thing is the playhead. Um, so we're going to erase. Um, so with that. Oh, she anger. Okay. So, now you have that. Um, and just so you know, you know, onion skin is, is this thing down here where it lets you see your last, uh, the last frame you did. You can customize that a lot in the settings, but this, I'm not, I'm not here to do all that for you today. I'm just here to show you the basics of you diving right in. Um, so yeah, we tried that. Um, so the way you kind of, you're gonna... Just to, uh, clear that we don't want to focus on that right now. Um, so I'm going to do the typical ball here because I can't really be bothered to draw anything else. I'll just give it an eyeball. Oh no, it's Radcat again. Okay. Um, so say you have like only one, you only have one frame. You just opened a project. This is what you have. So what you do is go to drawing duration up here at the top. You can't see my stylus because it's the screen recording, but you know. Uh, then you want to just use, you can drag or you can... Uh, you can do whatever. Um, so let's say I drag it there, and then gonna um, I can add add an mm, I do add after. Um, yeah, well, onion skin again. There we 
There we go. Perfect. That's the picture of beauty. So nice. So beautiful. Brilliant. So you can also make cycles. Let's make a cycle. This is our last last two drawings. Uh, and then oh, I guess I did that wrong. Um, so over here you can also make cycle, you can delete drawing, stuff like that. Um, I'm still pretty new to this program myself, but like, you know, the more you use a program, the more you get used to it. Um, the last thing I want to talk about that I think will be a use to everyone is the playback range, which is, um, because if you just press play, then if you play it from like, say, the beginning, um, you can like play it from further on sometimes. Um, but like, say if you're doing like a cycle, like what if, what if you want it to just repeat these two frames, like just in the preview, not in the timeline itself. So what you can do is I'm just going to lower the playback range, which is down here. It's under the timeline. And then there you go. You don't have to, it only is that. Or what if say, I only want this to, what this to play for whatever reason. You know, this is a hypothetical. You just do the other playback range, and there you go. The grayed area is not playing back. So, you can still hear the audio, but um, the frames you see uh, are only within this, like, kind of lighter area. So, like, beautiful. So, I think that's all. If you have any more specific questions, you know, you drop them down, you let me know. I will try to get to it, but in the meantime, um, just uh, I'll, I'll just post this up. Hopefully, this will help someone. Um, and yeah, um, happy animating. <laughs>